Hello YouTube, this is Fortnite Fails, JJ from channel JJ coming back to you with another video. And this time I've got three stories today about rap. Somebody get Rick Ross on the line ASAP. Meek Mill threatens to reveal his record contract after alleging label has yet to pay him. Keisha Cole and Tyree show support. And I got another one about how Dr. Dre and Grand Theft Auto might be collaborating on the next GTA. So let's get into it. Let's start with Meek Mill. Somebody get Rick Ross on the line ASAP. Meek Mill wants every cent to him owed by his record label. Less than a month after dropping his latest album, Excessive Pain, Philly rapper took a not-so-subtle jab at the record label. He is currently signed to both Atlantic and Maybach Music Group, which is owned by rapper Rick, Rick Ross for allegedly withholding money he is due. On Twitter, Meek wrote, ask the record label, how much have you spent on me as an artist? Then you ask, how much have you made off me as an artist? I'm about to make my record deal public by Monday, just to let the world see what these people on. He followed up with a second message claiming, I haven't got paid for music and I don't know how much money labels making off me. I need labels ASAP. Meek signed the... M signed with MMG in 2011 has released his last five pro projects under the imprint. Fans under the belief MMG is the target of his frustrations and have speculated that rumors of a feud between Meek and Rick Ross could be valid. Yeah, that's pretty much valid. I thought that was confirmed, not a rumor. <laughs> I thought that was confirmed. In May, DJ Academics off the record podcast hinted that Meek was starting a campaign to get out of his MMG contract. On social media, people were dumbfounded by Meek, just now questioning the supposed mismanagement of his career and money. And money. Somebody get Rick Ross on the line ASAP, because he was taking all that ish about Birdman. Now look at him, laughing in tears emoji. This is something you ask before you make the music, wrote another person. But in the midst of chaos, Meek managed to find support and other artists such as Tyrese, Tyrese and Keisha Cole, who have both claimed to experience with the ironing out money issues in their music careers. Never received a check from any label, period, claimed Cole before saying that he fully supports artists audit, audit, auditing their earnings. It's nothing wrong with obtaining an audit, attorney says, that you're aware of where every dollar went. Trust me, a lot get lost in the sauce. Although soon after her initial comment, the heaven sent singer clarified she received a one-time payment of $10 million. But aside from that, her money has never come from her publishing credits as a songwriter. Singer-actor Tyrese has added his two cents by suggesting, Many who were signed 20 years ago, we should all demand our masters and be reserved back to us. Yeah, I said it by December 2021, 22, I will own five of my masters from release over the years. Speak up on it or they will keep collecting off your body of work. If me makes good on his word, releasing his contract by waging war to collect his purported missing earnings, he'll be in good company. Last year, Kanye West fired a string of tweets exposing his contract with Universal Music, along with claims that he would return the music master to his record label of good to his former artists, you know. I'm looking at this, and yeah, I guess it's sad that Meek's in the position that he's in, but I don't really care. I think he kind of did it to himself when he first got money. Did he didn't know that he was going to um, run out of gas, man. He just said, I'll let you handle all the money, and walked away and said, let me just work on the art. And to come to find out, he's not really doing much in the art either. He's kind of lazy. He's running around stealing people's music and all that. That's probably why that he ain't getting paid, because they basically um doing lawyer fees and stuff, because you keep stealing people's stuff and then getting sued on some cases. That's probably what's going on. I mean, you didn't think to buy a Burger King? Rick Ross brought, uh, what you call it, three wing stops, buy a Burger King. That's what all rappers need to be doing. Um, preparing for the day where they're no longer relevant or the day that they'll have to push themselves. Although, if you guys were about that, you wouldn't have been on a label to begin with. Not to mention, as I was saying in my last video, 
most of these guys, when they're pushing their albums and stuff, their albums might actually sometimes never come out for some of these artists because they know, the art record label knows that it's going to flop. And when, even when they're sitting here pushing this stuff to uh, all hell, people are in stores and you find out there's a Taylor Swift um, cutout of a uh, cutout promoting the album and all that. And you're, there's a commercial everywhere and it's being pushed on every radio station and whatnot. Come to find out, these, these people's albums are still flopping. So it's probably the same thing here. They don't know how to market their music because they was because whatever following they got online, they got it because they're famous, or they brought their following because they went and bought a bunch of bot accounts. That's probably what's going on. He can't market it himself, and the label is putting too much money to market something, and it's not getting the proper amount back. That could be it too. Grand Theft Auto and Dr. Dre collaborating on new music says Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg might have just spilt the beans on Grand Theft Auto 6 revealing, 6, revealing that Dr. Dre is working on music for Rockstar Games on an unannounced title. You know, I hope Snoop Dogg's on it. Ah, uh, rapper Snoop Dogg recently claimed that fellow rapper and frequent collaborator Dr. Dre is making new music for unreleased Grand Theft Auto title in the last installment of Rockstar Games' open world crime series. Grand Theft Auto V launched all the way back in 2013 with fans eagerly, eagerly awaiting a brand new GTA game. Rumors about Grand Theft Auto 6 continue to be more and more common. Which Grand Theft Auto fans have given plenty of time to think about the series since six entry. Many ideas and rumors have surfaced in recent years. Modern G technology such as generation consoles, such as new generation consoles, lead to many gamers believing that GTA 6 will feature a truly massive open world map. Some rumors claim that the game will take place in Vice City and settings of the series 2002 installment which will be up to three times bigger than GTA V San Andreas. Some extravagant rumors point towards even more exotic locations for GTA 6 with a international setting recently suggested by Rockstar Games job listing. You know, I hope this is uh, true that another GTA is coming out. I don't really play it. I tend to, I tend to watch the reviews because I've never really did play GTA growing up because, well, that was too mature for me. I actually did have parents that followed age, restri age rating restriction guidelines for the most part. I could sometimes get a Call of Duty, but other than that, I wouldn't be getting things like, um, what you call it. I wasn't getting things like GTA and stuff like that. Especially when my uncle was playing it and he already knew what was up in there. But yeah, I hope they do that. I hope there's Snoop Dogg in here. It would be nice if there was some other rappers. Like, you know, like modern day rappers, like, I don't know, Trippy Red, some MGK. Although MGK is not in rap right now. He's doing some rock and pop, but still, it would be cool. What are your thoughts? What would you want in terms of music for GTA? Let me know in the comment section below. Xbox is reportedly developing a Wu-Tang Clan theme RPG. The East Coast icons may be returning to video games for the first time since Death Jam. You know, that would actually be kind of cool. As I hear it might be an RPG. Let's read the article. Microsoft is reportedly developing a new video game based on the Wu-Tang Clan. That's right, the infamous hip-hop group that brought RZA, Ghostface Killer, Method Man, and more East Coast icons will feature heavily do action RPG according to Windows Central. Windows Central is reportedly but was reinforced by Games Beast Jeff Grubb, who said on his video show he understood the information to be correct. The game codenamed Shalon is reportedly in development at Brass Lion. So it's probably going to be a samurai thing because that's what was the Wu Tang Clan based on some samurai stuff. And the name is Shalon, so it might be a samurai adventure. Like, uh, what was it? What was that dude's name? Shaq. Shaq, he made himself a, a samurai adventure, too. The Entertainment, a newest studio that enforces fictional universe that centers on black, brown, and other tra traditionally marginalized characters, cultures, and stories. The studio was found by Maneuver here, leader design of Mass Effect 3, Bryna Dabby Smith. Def Jam, Vedena, uh, and Sleeping Dogs, and Rashad Reddick, artist on the Elder Scrolls and Skyrim and Fallout 3. 
A studio list collaborators such as the Grammy winner Just Blaze, hip hop producer Jay Z, Drake, Beyonce, writer, and even narcissist Rise of the Black Panther, in addition to a long history of video game journalism. Uh, Jay, what Jay Z making beats? I mean, he has he he's not really known for his beats like that. He was stealing people's beats, as a matter of fact. Some of his most some of his most popular beats of his career, they were actually stolen. <laughs> so I, I mean, I wouldn't want this dude to uh, get some beats, man. You gonna find yourself in a lawsuit? Brass Lines first game, Corner Wolves, is described as a narrative fictional podcast following a young Afro Latina woman as she adventures through the mid '90s Harlem to find her father's killer. Touching on um, subjects including drug wars impact on the black and brown communities. The game is reportedly in a third-person fantasy RPG which will feature seasonal content and estimated to be a couple of dozen hours long. The game will reportedly be a melee combat focus and it will be supported four-player co-op window centrals in the games as a service aspect doesn't stop there. Players will be able to collect loot such as weapons, gears by completing procedural in-game Dugans and tailor-made events. Actual Wu-Tang Clan fans will also be happy to hear that the group will create a game soundtrack. Which, yeah, that would be cool. Don't expect to hear too much about the game's immediate future, though. The game's Shaolin codename is likely referenced to Wu-Tang's frequent theme of Shaolin vs. Wu-Tang martial arts styles. Original members Old Dirty Bastard and RZA similarly adapted a group name from 1983 martial arts film Shallow and Wu-Tang, several samples of which made it into the group's first album, 36 Chambers. The group's first video game was also titled Wu-Tang Challenge Style, which released on PS1 in 1999. Members of the group also appeared as themselves in Death Jam wrestling games. And Elite Questions is tied to... Navita GeForce now leaked last month in which listings for numerous new games and PC ports appeared, but numbers of those listings like a 2022 release date for Bioshock 4 appear dubious at best. So what do you guys think? Would you guys like to play a Wu-Tang game? That'd be actually pretty good. I wonder how this is going to be. I was actually quite kind of curious because I was like, how are you going to put these guys into a action-packed video game are you going to do it like when it was in marvel universe because yeah they these guys have been in the marvel written into the marvel universe on uh in the comic book section i was like or well, you just want to take some stuff from their name because uh one of they were calling themselves iron man and tony stark are these guys gonna be running around with mechanical limbs or something but yeah they're going to take it from a samurai direction so that's cool and that's all for this YouTube video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on the notifications.